Hi, it's Dr. Frederick. Uh, we uh, have some X values and some Y values. Each X value is matched to its corresponding Y value. And we simply want to uh, subtract the Y values from the X values. Uh, so that would be A2 minus B2. And then copy that formula and paste it here. Um, so we look here, that's A3 minus B3, A4, we're reading this formula bar up here. A4 minus B4, A5 minus B5. Now we're going to square those values. That would be C2 times C2. Get 4. Copy that formula. Paste it in here. Okay, so the deviation values are here. The square deviations are here. And we want to find the sum of the square deviations. So we'll just sum up those. We'll get 37. I believe that's the answer uh, in the key. So to get a different answer, you've done something wrong. Let's just show something while we're here. When you square deviations, you take away the negative values. Um, and it doesn't matter if you take the square of x minus y or y minus x's. We could subtra have subtracted x from y. Let's do that. That's equal to b2 minus a2. Now we reverse the subtraction. Let's copy that. Copy. Paste. And our sums are still 37. Even though the negative values have all changed here. So one of the things that this uh, this precursor to the variance gives us is you know the magnitude of the differences it doesn't matter if you subtract x from y or y from x it doesn't matter okay as long as you're going to square them and add them up get 37